Yay, I'm getting this started. Hello there, everybody. This is Seawalt the Planet One here, and welcome to my 16-bit summer project, Sonic the Hedgehog CD Blind. So, allow me to show you something really quick, which is RAM data. I believe this is the save data. I'm pretty sure, and whoa, that is loud. That is loud. I better turn that down. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Gee, the sound is really loud here. This is my first time uh, recording with this, with this uh, emulator, this particular emulator that I'm using. It is Kega Fusion. All right, all right, enough talk. Let's just go ahead and do this already. So yay. All right. First off is Palm Tree Panic. All right. So. Pretty much, if you ever played a Sonic game before, you should know how to play this one, and whoa, holy crap. Holy crap, the thing. That was, that was awesome. That was freaking awesome. But yeah, pretty much if you ever played a Sonic game before, you should know how to play this game. Alright. Now, about this game itself, I do know several things about it, like, what? What the heck? What? What? Like that. Like that. I know several things about that. Like, in this game, you have basically your past, present, good future, bad future things. It's because this game involves time travel and everything. I know about that. And why can't I spin dash? Eh. Whatever. Alright. So. Uh, ow. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me, dang it. Yeah, I know that I know that thing that I said like a million times before, but I never knew how to trigger it until now. So Yeah, and whoa. Hello. Okay, future. I know those change the past, present, future or something like that. So So, yeah, and whoa. Okay. I guess we're at the end then. Okay. And technically this is, technically this is a 16-bit game, and it is on a Sega CD, yes. So, I might as well go into why I, why I chose this. I guess it was kind of a, I guess it was kind of a random thing for me to do, actually. Like, I wanted to do something off a Sega game, or something, something that I haven't played before, I guess. And, I figured... Why not Sonic CD? I might as well do that. Since I hear it's like the best 2D Sonic game, people keep saying that it's the best 2D Sonic game ever made, actually. And I can kind of sort of see why. And another reason why I chose it, or rather tried, decided to do this blind, is because, well, I don't really remember if I played this game or not as a kid. Well, I did... I think I did play this game before, but I had just forgotten all about it. And can you please? Okay, thank you. Thanks, Sonic. Thank you for spin dashing. But yeah, I don't really remember playing this as a kid. It is. It was released for the PC. There was a PC port of this game, but I just don't remember it. So, I'm just gonna say this is a blind LP. So, yeah. And can I actually move forward? Okay, thank you. And wow, that... All these stages are gonna be short, aren't they? They're gonna be really short. Yeah. So anyway... Now, okay, this is long. This is a long victory theme. Yeah. Okay. So... About the Sega CD itself. It was released as an add-on to the Sega Genesis to supposedly extend the life out of it. But in order to lock on to the in order to lock on to the Sega Gen in order to get the Sega CD to work, you would have to own a Genesis and lock on to it and hook up all them stuff. And oh, boss time. Okay. Boss time that quickly. All right. And oh god, I remember listening to this theme. I remember listening to this theme. Oh my god, this theme is just too creepy. Yeah. And 
Okay, that was incredibly easy. I think I do remember this thing. I think I do remember this part. I do indeed remember this from when I was a kid, but other than that, I don't really remember so much. Yeah. This is gonna be a relatively short game, isn't it? Yeah. Next zone time, I guess. Well, I guess I'm not doing one zone per video, am I? Collision Chaos. Okay, let's do this. So anyway, back to the... Spikes it, Amy! What the hell? <laughs> Spikes. Hello. And I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> and, oh, hi, Amy. How's it going? Yes. This is Amy Rose's first appearance. So, oh, hi. Hey, Metal Sonic. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Yeah, I do know that Amy and Metal Sonic were introduced here. I do know that. So, yeah. And stuff. I have no idea what to talk about, okay? I have no idea what the heck to talk about. But yeah, ow. Stop hitting me. And somehow I still have ten rings. What the heck? Okay. Yeah. So I guess... So I guess if you speed up long enough, you will trigger the future thing. Or time travel thing. I guess. Alright. Do it. Alright. Dang it, I didn't do it. Oh well. I guess... I guess that was kind of to be expected, though. Alright. So, anyway, back to my Sega CD thing before I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> uh, the Sega CD was supposed to extend the life of the Sega Genesis, but ultimately it failed because, well, first off, it was too expensive. Way too expensive. And the only kids that had it were rich, of course. And among those other things... Among those other things, like, really bad games, like, uh, I forget, because I did see the Angry Video Game Nerd review at the Sega CD, and there are some cult classics and good games on there, well, aside from this, like, Night Trap or something, but other than that, but other than Night Trap or Sonic CD being classics, the Sega CD didn't really have any good games on it, so... Ultimately, it failed, along with the 32X. Yeah, along with the 32X, which was another add-on. So, yeah, add-ons are not the way to go for a 16-bit wars, which, lead, which led Nintendo to win. Ha ha ha. But anyway, this game has some pretty good music, I have to admit. I haven't listened to all of it. I listened to some things like the boss theme and the later stage theme, which I do know some of the stages... One, one later stage, in fact, but other than that, I haven't really seen, I haven't seen it. And this is supposed to be like the casino level, because it, I, it kind of is. Kind of looks like it is. And, jeez. What's up with those bumpers, man? Alright, and that's to the past, eh? Alright, so, to the past. And, to the board! Whee! Ah. How come I'm not going fast in this game? I want to go fast. After all, it's what Sonic is all about, going fast. So why not? And, okay, so I guess... Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. You have to go fast enough so you can time travel. Okay, that makes sense. I guess that's Sega logic for you. Go fast enough, you go back in time. So what I do know is, like I said before, each zone has a past... A past, present, future, good future, and bad future. So, I'm gonna try to show those off, but I don't really think I'll get 100%, really. As in, like, I have no idea if the Chaos Emeralds are in this game or not, but... Yeah, there are, because I do know special stages exist in this game. So, yeah. And I'm actually surprised! This emulator is not lagging! It's a Kega Fusion emulator, and it's supposedly the best Sega emulator out there. 
You can play Sega Genesis games on it, you can play Sega CD games on it, and among those other things. So, yeah. And ah, Slicers, I hate you! I hated you in Sonic 4, I hated you in Sonic 2, which, yes, I know, indeed, I am wrong on the appearance. I'm probably wrong on a couple of things, seeing that, well, Mad Gear was basically Metropolis Zone, in a nutshell, so, and ah, I didn't go fast enough to get to the future, dang it. <laughs> oh well, Zone 2! And yes, you are hearing the USA version soundtrack. Sorry, Japanese purist. You're not getting your Japanese soundtrack today. No Toot Toot Sonic Warrior for you. But yes, this game has two soundtracks. One is for the USA, which for the United States, which you are hearing right now. And the other is a Japanese slash European soundtrack. So, yeah, all that is good and awesome. And awesome. And whoa. I guess we're going all Sonic Spinball, I guess. Oh wait, this this uh okay, okay, how the dude, dude. Hey dude, okay. Can I get up to Robotnik, please? Yes, I'm calling I'm gonna call him Robotnik just for consistency. And besides, he wasn't named Eggman yet. No. Can I please hit him? Dude! Dude! And, okay. Okay, get up there before I kick your ass. Thank you. Ah. Okay, there we go. There we go. I hit him. Yay. I hit him. And that was seriously it? Okay. I guess that's it. <laughs> like I said, this is going to be a relatively short game. So, I don't want to get into too much of the game here, so I'm just going to stop this right here. Just because, well, I do believe this only has six zones here, and Tidal Tempest is going to be next. Okay, so pause it. And I'll see you guys on the next exciting episode of Let's Play Sonic CD Blind. Yes. And so, okay, see you guys next time.